Professor Dunn here again. Let's just do this first. This is jumping on me. I wanted to start with this piece. Okay, so Egypt was among the earliest of the Islamic conquests, surrendering to Arab armies around AD 639. And objects made by Egyptian artisans were cast in brass at this time period. And that's what I'm showing you here. So we have um, a bowl here that's cast in brass and then inlaid with silver. Um, and it's really beautifully done so we have the soldiers here, and we have depictions of animals down here. Um, very detailed in how these things are shown. Even the little animals right along here. Very, very well done. Very nicely done. And moving on, late Christian art in Ethiopia. In AD 1516, Egypt was defeated by the Ottomans, an imperial Islamic dynasty based in what is present-day Turkey, and the Christian highlands of Ethiopia were overrun in 1527 to 1543 by the Islamic forces. Um, the church here, though, that I'm showing you, the Church of the Trinity, was founded toward the end of the 7th century, so after the Islamic conquest. So we do still see uh, churches and Christian art in Ethiopia after um, the Islamic takeover. And as I said, we still see, even today, we see Catholics, we see um, uh, uh, Jewish people, uh, and Islamic people all living in Ethiopia in present day. When we look at the interior of this church, it's quite beautiful. We can see that it's made out of wood, and we have these faces and patterning shown on the ceiling here. We have an image of Jesus being crucified down here. We have uh, depictions of various stories from the Bible that are being shown on the walls um, in, in, in a way that they're really over every surface of this church you can see is painted um, and showing some kind of history linked to uh, the Bible, biblical history. Uh, and it's a really overwhelming but also very beautiful, you know, visual experience to look at this church. So that is going to end my little bit on Kush, and I hope you have enjoyed this week about um, Egypt and the surrounding areas.